So I think someone is back on the server. I got a message from uh, Corruption to say, hey, go to your base, go outside and end a pearl onto the roof. So I feel, I mean, I've already recorded an intro for this episode. I, I met up with Racecrafter and we discussed a, a possible business opportunity, which you'll see in a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what's in store for me here. Uh, he did say I'd need an ender pearl, so hopefully I'll be in my lab somewhere. I am, I'm near the storage too. Now that wasn't there before. Why is there so much black carpet everywhere? Wait, is this part of the joke? Has Corruption put carpet over everything? Why do people keep covering all my stuff with stuff? <laughs> um, ender pearls, ender pearls, ender pearls. Is this one? No. This one? There we go. So 21 black carpet already, that's a bit of a worry. I hope it's not carpet. Do I need a bucket of water? I've got a bucket of water. So he said, head out the back door. I should probably sleep, as I don't fancy dealing with mobs. I mean, I'm prepared for it, but... Uh, does this work anymore? I don't feel like standing on the bed actually does the one player sleep. So I'll just... Oh, I must have. Yeah, it must have. Okay, it does work. What have you done, Corruption? What have you done? Um, oh, oh, that is cool. You've actually saved me a job. <laughs> wow. Wow, dude, thank you very much. I'm going to head up there and see if there's anything else. That looks awesome. Can I end a pearl up without hitting something and dying? Yes, I can. Dude, that is awesome. Thank you very, very much, Corruption. That was wicked. Because I was going to be doing a similar style to, to what you'd done for your smokestacks for the uh, for the blacksmith in town. So that is... That's that's wicked, dude. That, that actually might be the thumbnail, I think. Oh, I kind of need to replace that because that looks ugly. Um... <laughs> Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can sneak this up. I don't think we'll be able to. But you never know. No, couldn't do it. Oh well, I got that, got that concrete, did I? No, I didn't. Where did it go? H how do I manage to do that? I would have thought I'd pick that up. But uh, apparently not. Okay, pillar up. There it is. Um, let's go ahead and... No, it would have been easier if I just mined it from here. I could always put it back, couldn't I? I'm a bit of an idiot. But there you go. What do you expect? I mean, we are 40-something episodes in to the series now, and uh, I still make stupid mistakes like that on a regular basis. Like, it's kind of expected, surely. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. that one and we'll get a nice little screenshot of this because this looks wicked now you know what actually I'm doing it wrong I'm doing this wrong the best shot of this lab is down on the ground with everything in focus so let's go ahead and do that I've got a shovel. Just use the shovel, Sunfire. Come on. I apologize if I'm sounding pretty stuffy. It's because I've, this time I'm pretty sure I am sick. I, I think I've said that a few times now, but uh, this is the first time that everything's kind of... All the symptoms have hit at the same time. So, uh, yay! Winter flu. Always lovely. Anyway. I have. I, I, I'm not going to drag you out the front. You've seen what that looks like before. You'll see it in the thumbnail. Uh, we'll crack on with the little projects that I've set for Racecrafter, and a little bit of the the stuff I've kind of taught him in exchange. Plus, the, there's going to be payments and stuff in exchange as well. I think. Let's let's get a good shot of this. Hello everyone, and welcome to Craftway. It's episode uh, 
I have no idea. It, it's an episode. And uh, I'm here with our newest member, Racecrafter, who's still got a different uh, game of take at the moment, but you're sorting that out, aren't you, I think? Is that the plan? Yeah, I'll get that, uh, get that sorted out soon. I'm still mad at Microsoft for charging me $10 to change my name, but yeah, it's, I'll it's... get it done soon. Yep, fair enough, Matt. I, I did the same. It's a little frustrating, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. But, uh, hey, oh, hello. Oh, I missed. I'm rusty. There we go. So, I'm here with Racecrafter. We are heading over to the lab, as I am going to be commissioning uh, Racecrafter for a modern build, as you do a lot of modern builds on your channel. Uh, some very good modern I builds, do. too. Well, thank you very much. No, it's all good, man. Uh, so, he's not in the laboratory, and I've offered to teach him a little bit about potion making, show him the XP farms that I've got so he can basically use it to level up, and also do some enchanting as well. So, we're going to head over to the lab, and uh, I think first off I'll, I'll show you the plot, or, or a rough idea of where the plot is, um, so you can basically build a house uh, to your heart's content, and then from there we'll sort of go through all the little bits that I can kind of teach you along the way, hopefully. The home of science, Suncorp, right. <laughs> so head through the portal. <laughs> and, it's awfully uh, purple. Hmm. You'll see why I did that as we head through. Um, it's kind of like a mirror image on the other side of this portal. So if you look actually down through the glass when you when you jump through, you'll see it's a, a mirror image. Okay. Ah. Cool. But uh, yeah, head head this way. I'll I'll take you to the plot where we will be. Uh, well, where I'm going to commission you to to build something. Okay. I, modern's not really my forte. Like I've dabbled in it, but I can never get it to look quite right. So having one of your builds there to sort of set the tone for for this would definitely help, I think. I will uh, do the best I can for you, buddy. Yeah, sure, man. Just let me know what sort of resources you need. Uh, it should be fairly mob safe out here. Um, there's a few over that way and a few over by the woods. So I've got this area here commissioned. This is going to be my town hall, which is actually going to be a bit bigger than that. But I'm thinking for some of the houses, if I go ahead and clear some of this area over here and light it up, um, if we, so let's let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some trees now and grab some wood, and I'll mark out like a rough idea of a plot size for you, and then um, basically, if you build a house there, I can offer some sort of payment, whether it's uh, diamonds, iron. Uh, Take your pick. I, I will sort something out for you. Yeah, no worries. No worries. And, and that can be based on if you needed to gather any resources yourself or time that it took to actually, you know, make it. Um, just come up with what you think is a, a sort of fair price for it. So if I say a size, maybe. Um, actually, it's up to you. Do you, do you want to build a a sort of like a shop? Like a modern style shop, so I know you've been doing a lot of like restaurants, fast food restaurants, and that would definitely fit in with the the theme yep. here in the town. Or you can make a house. Um, I, I genuinely don't mind because it's going to be fairly close yeah. to the town hall. It doesn't really matter too much because the town's not going to be yeah you know, enormous. Uh, but maybe um, if we say a plot size somewhere within where are we? Is that that's in line there? Yep, here. And maybe, oh, hello. Yeah, I saw him bobbing up before. He wasn't, oh, he's not. that'll he's, take care of him. He doesn't seem to be aggro. Oh, there we go. He punches oh. me, but that's yeah, it. Yeah, he is now. Oh, no, he's, he is now. He's got a bad aim with that arrow, too. A really bad aim. Right. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then we've got so it would be yeah I'm totally I'm, I'm totally open to yeah. whatever you want well, however I mean, big you want I'm I'm not too fussed I think this is a first size if you need to go over don't worry about it too much I'm not 
it, it's fairly relaxed. Like most of the, oh, hello, there's a creeper. Let's just get rid of this fella before we, he causes too many issues. There's already enough holes around here, huh? Yep, I've been, uh, well, it's mainly my fault. I've been uh, using the trident here with channeling. So whenever it rains, I basically come out here, create a couple of charged creepers, get some heads. That's how I got your little, um, was, it, was it a zombie head or a skeleton head I gave you? I think it was a skeleton head, wasn't it? Yeah, skeleton head. Yeah, so yeah, that's how I sort of got that is by making craters everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but if I fill in, you know, some of this and and uh, everything else, get this place lit up so it's nice and sort of mob friendly. Uh, you say what you need resource-wise, I can get that sorted for you as well. And uh, yeah, then just for, for for services rendered, just let me know the price. But I think that's a sort of rough yeah. size could be quite good for a house or you know a shop. But don't worry about too much about these little markers. It's not. Uh, the be-all and end-all of that. But do you reckon you're up for that? Absolutely. I actually found my first three diamonds the other night. Excellent. Came upon them by mistake because I was avoiding uh, uh, a gang of um, zombies. And I like, <laughs> turned around and I was like, is that what I think it is? <laughs> Because <laughs> I had never seen them at this texture pack before, so I was like, uh, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Cool. Only three, but hey, it's a hey, start. Free, free's a start. That's the diamond pickaxe for you, and then you can you know, work on getting Silk Touch or Fortune on it, and uh, that makes the world a difference. So if you ignore the hovering minecart, which for some reason keeps doing that, this is the enchant enchantment room that I've got set up here. So basically, once you've got enough levels, uh, this is a full... Enchantment table, uh, enchantment table. So it goes up to level uh, thirty. Now you can change Dang, how many you know, levels. What, what was that? Sorry. Uh, before I died of that creeper on the way to the spawn town, I was at level thirty-six. Ah, oh, that's that sucks, man. Um, no, I'm only at seven. You, you'll be able to get it back. I'll show you how the farm works soon as well. So if you want to change the level, you just block the 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 sort of uh, bookcases with torches or something like that and it reduces the level um, of the of the of the enchantment basically so if you right click on that you'll see it has three different tables okay and uh, you put lapis in the sort of second slot and either a book or your armor or weapon or whatever in that one so if I give you some lapis which I just put away like an idiot and you take off your um, chest plate since it's not enchanted so I'll give you that there so if you okay. right click on that put the chest plate in the first slot the lapis in the second and you'll see it has a list of enchantments and the level okay I'm at um it's lowest is eight and I'm still at seven so I can't really get anything well, but yeah you can see what you mean but you see you see the sort of mean so you can also change yeah. it like I said with the torches to, to block stuff if you want to get a specific I enchantment because certain enchantments are more common at certain levels so play around basically with it until you you can you, you get what you want but here at the little drowned farm you've got and you need the books around here right Yes, yeah, the bookcases are what give it power. So if it had no bookcases, the enchantments would be very weak. And that's why I when see, you put okay. torches here, it actually blocks the bookcases. So it reduces. So if you try and do that with your iron armor again now, if you take it out and put it back in, it should change the enchantment level. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and, and it, that sort of helps you, um, you know, essentially find an enchantment that you want. I see, okay, cool. Uh, if we head over this way to our little drowned farm, uh, you can basically stand here and watch the zombies come in and they'll whiz up here, drop down, get turned into drowned, and then you can just basically wail on them with a sword and uh, get yourself a lot of lovely XP. So this is quite a slow one because when they turn back into drowned they actually get all of their health back. However, 
I can show you the skeleton farm which has a lot more options and is uh, basically a one hit kill. Okay. And that might be a better option as well for just if, if you wanted to get levels quickly. Like I'm using that farm more often at the moment because I like the drops. You get uh, tridents and gold and all sorts of mm -hmm. cool stuff like that. So, um, Where'd you go? There you are. Just up here. Yeah. And then I can kind of yeah. show you the basics of, of potion making as well before we round off the episode. So much to learn, man. Uh, if it, look, it was the it was exactly the same for me when I switched from creative to to survival. But now I've kind of learned survival. I don't know if I could go back to creative. Maybe just for test builds, but overall, I think it'd be quite difficult to to just be a creative builder again. Have you got some kind of speed potion? Because I cannot keep up. No, but I can get you a speed potion. I'll show you how to make them, actually. So this way. Don't worry about the drop. You'll survive. There you go. So this is the skeleton spawner. And it operates in the same way. You just can't see what's going on behind it. So you stand. if you stand here... Uh, some skeletons will start to drop and you can actually use this sword here if you like that's just above you just behind you see so if you take this sword down it's actually got mending on so that it doesn't destroy your sword you'll basically just be using that sword and then when you're finished you pop it back up Oops. come on skellies they should start dropping Hopefully, if I haven't broken the farm, I fixed it earlier, and uh, it seemed to be working. Oh, there we go. Yeah, really? it's starting to drop. So that's like a one-hit kill, so you should get the XP, like, uh -huh. instantly. Some of it will go to the sword, but most of it will go to you. You can also do this. This lever here will push that slab across. So then you can basically just use the sword to your heart's content, switch out of the sword so you've not got anything in your hand, and then open it. And basically all the XP will go straight to you and your levels and not to the sword then. Gotcha. So you can kind of take your pick how you want to do it. But that should get you leveled up pretty quick. Again, feel free to grab a bow or anything, go armor from these chests if you want, because I've got so many of them I don't need them. Yeah, I need to make one of these, man. This is... Well, you know that spider spawner that you found? Uh-huh. Do you remember the coordinates at all? Or how to get yes, that? I took, yeah, Excellent. I took a screenshot. Well, I could potentially help you make that into a farm, if you like. Okay, now is there a way I can like pick up the, the spawner and bring no, it somewhere? No, there's not. It's just basically okay. wherever you find it, you've got to make a farm around that. Um, gotcha. If you try and use a pickaxe, even if it's a silk touch pickaxe, it will break the break the spawner. Um, okay. So it's handy in some circumstances to break the spawners if you've got like quite a few of them around and you don't want, you know, mobs spawning all the time. Um, but otherwise, if you want to make a farm out of it, yeah, you kind of build the farm around. And I can help you with the spider farm if you like, and we can get that up and rolling for you, and that should give you a pretty steady source of XP as well. They're not as good as like the zombie spawners or skeleton spawners, but they're pretty reliable. Okay, I'm up to 11 now. That's... Sweet. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll show you how to do some potions, and uh, Wait, then you can sorry. more than welcome to basically pop down here again, use it to your heart's content, and then you kind of know your way to the um, to the zombie spawner slash um, enchantment area as well. What is this stuff in here? This, this purple. And... This is uh, chorus fruit. So it's oh. a type of end. Have you ever tried it? No. There's so many things I'm seeing now with this texture pack. I have no idea what they are because the first that. time I'm seeing them. Eat that. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It's safe. Whoa. So that gives you like a random teleport. It's really handy if you're falling off something. If you chew on one of those, uh, it'll teleport you to the nearest block. 
basically. So oh, it can cool. come in very, very handy. Am I like floating? No. Feels like oh the ice under the yeah, carpet. Yes, the ice That's underneath. Why. It's a little disconcerting. I'm, like... I'm I'm tempted to pull it up because it doesn't seem to give you that much of a speed boost, to be honest. So if we head up to I think I've got I think I've got blaze powder in my office. So if you look if you have an empty hand and look up at these minecarts and right click, it should take you to the top. And then you shift to, to get jump out. There we go. So I'm to the office. Uh, I do believe I've got... Oh, not quick enough. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, I have... The famous Excellent. Suncorp office. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've actually got some, uh, some potion setups here. So I, what I'll do is I'll give you the ingredients and that way you'll be able to do it yourself. So this is an empty potion stand here. And I'm going to throw some water bottles at you. One, two, three. And if you right click on the potion stand, you'll see there's a spot for those water bottles. Uh huh. If you pop all those in there. Wait, what happened to the third one? Oh, oh I, I picked it up again. Yeah. I picked it up. Uh -huh. Can you reach it? Yep, there you go. Sorry, I'm standing on your desk, aren't I? No, it's just a chest, it's not a problem. I stand all over my stuff all the time. So I'm going to give you a bit of never what. Okay. You want to pop that into the very top spot. Okay. And you'll see it starts to brew. So it brews using blaze powder, which is just a uh, blaze rod from a blaze in the never. Um, okay. With you, you basically put it into a crafting bench or something like that, and it'll split it into two blaze powder. Mm -hmm. And that's what's used to power these sort of uh, brewing stands. Next, I'm going to throw you some sugar cane. And you want to turn that into sugar. Which you can do just in your in your sort of open hand crafting bench if you open that up. And then you put the sugar into the brewing stand at the top. You just want pieces enough, I think, normally. But oh. And that should give you potions of speed. So this this sort of formula is the same for all potions. You do the never wart first, and then it's like uh -huh. it's sugar for speed. It's uh, a magma cream for uh, fire resistance, which is great in the never. There's a puff a puffer fish for water breathing. Um, there's oh, what's strength? I can't remember. We've got plenty of puffer fish from fishing. Yeah, so you can make plenty of water breathing potions if you needed to. I think. Um, is it a blaze rod or blaze powder? It might be a blaze powder for strength as well. I can't and these remember. recipes, these recipes are in. They're not in. Work the, they're not written down anywhere. I mean, they're available online. That's kind of where I learned them all. Um, okay. But yeah, the the main ones that I used at first were like the speed one, the water breathing one, uh, and now I've I've just started doing potions of strength as well. So. You can have some of these. These were in the thing already. So you're more than welcome to take those if you've got room in your inventory. And Thank also you. the potions of swiftness as well. If you want to take those out of the out of the brewing stand, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, appreciate you popping over. Appreciate the, that you'll be doing some work for me. And uh, let me know if you ever want some help with anything. I should be able to pop by and give you a hand as well. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for uh, all the, the info and the... Uh... And especially a diamond pickaxe. That's really awesome. Hey, dude. it's it's, it's towards payment. It's not payment for the house, but <laughs> it's towards it because you know it's going to come in handy for both of us. I imagine if you're going to be, um, you know, potentially doing some more builds for me in the future. Absolutely. Alrighty. Well, thanks for awesome. popping. And uh, yeah, cheers, man. 
So guys, thank you for watching the episode. Um, I will say, go and check out the link in the description to Racecrafter's channel. Um, I am thoroughly enjoying his series. Um, I, I guess because I've played Minecraft for a while now, you kind of forget that, that first experience, you forget the nostalgia, and it's been a real nostalgia trip watching his episodes, so highly recommend it. I'm really, really enjoying them. And then also there is a link to Connection Fit's channel as well. The dude's awesome. He's just passed 100 subscribers recently. That smoke build that he did is fantastic. I love it. Thanks again, Connection, for that. It looks fantastic. It's it saved me a job because I didn't feel I was going to be able to do it proper justice. Excellent. And then you might also notice I am wearing a military uniform. Um, I have been drafted. You may have already seen, there is a new series on the channel called War Girls. And uh, yes, I have been drafted into the yellow team. So I am going to be occasionally visiting Craftaway on shore leave while that series comes and we have our little battle and I probably die repeatedly. But it's all good, because at Suncorp we've developed cloning. So um, I should be okay. But you, you will see me here in Craftaway. Uh, I'm still going to be making regular episodes for it as well, but I just wanted a, a fun little thing to fill in a bit of a gap as well, so uh, look forward to War Girls. It's a interesting experience trying to learn all these new mods, and uh, I'm not very good at it, so it should be fairly entertaining for you guys. But uh, I'm, as usual, yammering on. So again, thanks guys. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.